It's taken me a long time and I'm just beginning to see what pure in heart means. Whatever it is, if we love God, then he helps us to find it. We have to stay aware so that we don't get tripped up by thoughts and emotions. That if we get involved with them or try to struggle with them, those thoughts try to convince us that we are guilty and can't be pure and so on. They may be impure, but to the extent that we yearn for God, our yearning and our true desire is not impure. Dismiss the thoughts as if they were a bad old movie on television that's not credible. It is our involvement with trying to deal with tricky thoughts that makes us think they are our very own true thoughts. And they are not. Just watch and pull back. I always tell people. So, there you have it. See, thoughts, someone once said so beautifully, they said that the intellect is like a no man's land. And there could be all kinds of stuff going on there. All kinds of stuff going on there. All kinds of thoughts. You know how a, a musical jingle or a commercial will replay in your mind or some song you heard can replay over and over? Or all of a sudden, out of nowhere, some thought comes to your mind. Where'd that come from? What was that? Especially if it's kind of a naughty thought or something. What's that all about? Images flip by. Thoughts flip by. Emotions. So what is that? See what I mean? What is going on? Well, I want you to see that those things often, most often, are not your very own concoction. You didn't think them up. They just, there they are. Your mistake is to immerse yourself in them and float along with them. That's the purpose of the meditation, to help you to learn how not to float away with them all the time. The other mistake we make is that we struggle with them. We struggle. But can you see that struggle involves you? It takes you away from the higher ground. It takes you away from a stance. It takes you away from observing, like... You know, a general on the podium watching the soldiers parade by. See, you ought to be standing there watching thoughts parade by. And that's it. Just watch them parade by. See what I mean? You're the thinker. You're not the thought. You are the observer of thought. It's very important. Now, can you see that... How many of you have... have had a situation where you got involved in an argument with someone, they pulled you into an argument. You didn't want to get into an argument. You had, it was some topic you weren't even that interested in, but they somehow pulled you into an argument. You got tricked, tricked into it. And then afterwards you felt, your, your mind felt dull and you felt nervous and you felt kind of spaced out. And see, it wasn't good, was it? Because you got pulled into it. Well, that's what happens when you get pulled into thoughts. It's the same thing. And you lose the ground from which you could observe them and have and have power over them. Can you see that? So that's very important, learning to meditate so you can learn to snap out of thought. And learn to watch thought without without paying much attention to it. And and learning how to to have people say things and, and have it go in one ear and out the other. People will come up with all kinds of arguments and and doubts and and they'll try to trick you, trap you into getting involved in it. Just let what they say go in one ear and out the other. Even, don't even let it register. It doesn't even register. I always use the example, it's not mine, I heard somebody else say it, but it's so good. It's like when you wake up and one in the morning, you fell asleep on the sofa and then you wake up and across the room the TV is on and it's blaring away and there's some kind of a really bad old movie on, you know, the kind of movies that they sometimes have in, during the night just a really bad movie and just stare at it and it's meaningless, it's not credible and it doesn't even register. That's how you must learn to, to deal with with all of the stuff that goes on in your mind and then all of the things that people bring up. You have to learn to just not even let it register. Now, so, but if something is of value, you'll notice it. If somebody has a, a true question, a true need, they say something that's, that's useful or that's helpful, or you could answer a proper question. Yes, you, you'll notice it, you'll hear it, you, but your answer will come from a true concern. It comes from the heart. 
and not from being involved in, in their in their um, in an argument with or pulled into some some tempting thing that they're offering. 